Hi everyone and welcome to part modeling in SOLIDWORKS. Today, we're going to take up exercise 8. Now, we are going to double click on part. Now, I'm going to my feature manager tree. Hover over top plane, right click and sketch. Heading up to my sketch tab and click circle. Now, we are going to make a circle on our origin and another circle another circle and I'm going to make a circle on my right and on my left and now we are going to add a circle here and here hitting escape and hitting S on my keyboard Notice there's a window popped up going down and clicking the drop down option and click three point arc. Now I'm going to select this intersection and this intersection, this intersection, and this intersection, this intersection again, and this intersection again. Now, I'm going to my sketch, click Smart Dimension, and I want this arc to have a dimension of 100. Now, I want this circle to have a dimension of 150, and this circle to have a dimension of 120, and lastly, this inner circle to have a dimension of 100. I want this circle on my left to have a dimension of 80 and this inner circle to have a dimension of 50. Same as these two circles on my right. So I'm going to click the circle, hold control, click the circle, make equal. Click the circle, hold control, click the circle, and make equal. Now, I want this center point and this origin to have a distance of 150. Same here on my right. Click the center point and our origin and type 150. I want my other three arcs to have a radius of 102. So I'm hitting escape. Thanks for reaching this point in the video, inviting you all to join us in Facebook. Our group is SOLIDWORKS Users Philippines and LinkedIn, we are SOLIDWORKS Users Philippines. See you there! Click this arc, hold control, click this arc, this arc, and this arc, and make equal. Now we are going to our center point. Click our center point, hold control, and click our origin, and make horizontal. Same as this center point, click, hold control, click our origin, and make horizontal. Now, I want my arcs to be tangent to our circles. So, click our arc, hold control, click our circle, and make tangent. Click this arc. Hold control, click the circle, and make tangent. So click this arc again, hold control, click our circle, and make tangent. Same as here, click our arc, control, click this circle, and make tangent. Same as here on our right, click our arc, hold control, click our circle, make tangent, click our arc. Hold control, click our circle, make tangent, click our arc, control, circle, make tangent, arc, control, circle, and make tangent. Notice our sketch is now fully defined. So now we are going to extrude our sketch. Let's head up. 
click on Features tab and click Extruded Boss Base. Now, we are prompted to select a contour. I'm going to select this contour, this contour, and this contour. And the depth is going to be 20. Hitting OK. Let's twirl this down. Click our sketch and head up to Extruded Boss Base. I'm going to select a contour. I'm going to select this circles. And the depth is going to be 40. And click OK. I'm going to my sketch again. Click our sketch. Head up to Features, click Extruded Boss Base. And we are prompted to select a contour. So I'm going to select this contour. And the depth is going to be 70. And hit OK. And congratulations for completing Exercise 8. See you in the next video!